Alright guys, um, this will be my fourth video I think, and today I've got a $100 box of nickels, all bank seal, I've already checked to see if they're circulated, and they definitely are. So, all I'm looking for in these is any errors or anything below 1960 is um, something I'll be keeping. Of course, war nickels, which are 35% silver, and then buffalo nickels, and anything older than that. So, alright, um, I'll bring you in when I get on the first find. Alright, all right, guys, uh, this is actually the first roll. Um, there's actually the ender. The first coin I looked at is a 1942 non-silver variant. So, yeah, that's, that's from... Philadelphia it looks like so hopefully that means it's gonna be a good box if the first coin is 1942 so all right I'll bring you in on the next one okay guys we are on the same roll with the 1942 this is this is literally insane I've only ever found one of these we're we're literally on the first roll and if you look right there that's a buffalo nickel this is this is insane on the first roll I've, I've only ever found one of these Hold on, real quick, let's just check the rest of the roll. Uh, see if there's anything. It doesn't look like it. This, I've only ever found one of these before. Guys, oh my gosh. Let's check the date. Alright. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get a date off that. I don't. Um, I'll look into it, but, wow, my second ever buffalo nickel on the very first roll of this box, that is, that is insane, alright guys, um, well hopefully, hopefully it continues to have good luck like this, but alright, I will bring you in on the next find. Alright, we're on roll number three, and looks like right here we've got a 1941 out of Philadelphia. Alright, I'll bring you in on the next find. Alright, same roll. We've also got a uh, 1957 from Denver. If I start finding a bunch of stuff, um, from like common years like this, then I'll just kind of bring you in every like five rolls or so. But, uh, I'm still kind of freaking out about this buffalo nickel, but alright, I'll see you on the next find. Alright, we're on the very next roll, and I know I said I wouldn't um, bring you in after just one roll or so, but I just want to show you guys how much I'm finding. Right here, we've got a 1955 Denver, we also got um, a Canadian 1998, which looks cool and then we also have another 1942 non-silver variety or variety i mean and so yeah we're actually finding a lot of stuff so that's pretty good um if i find anything pretty significant like another buffalo or something or a war nickel i'll bring you in and other than that um, i'll bring you in after a few more finds all right all right, it's, uh, the box has definitely slowed down. It's been about 14 rolls or so, or about 14 rolls in. But this roll, um, we got a 1955 from Denver, a 1952 from Philadelphia, and then a few rolls ago we got a 1953 from Philadelphia. So, pretty good roll. Um, okay, I will bring you in. Um, when I get the next find. Alright, we've, um, we've probably gone through like another 10 rolls or so. And we found four coins total. These ones are both in this roll. Uh, if it'll focus, we got a 1953 from Philadelphia. And then a 1954, also from Philadelphia. And then a few rolls ago, we got a 41 Philadelphia and... Oh yeah, we got a 39, um, unfortunately from Philadelphia. If it was from 
either of the other mints, it would have been a key date, but these are pretty common, but still really old. So, alright guys, um, I'll bring you in after I get a few more finds, and yeah. Alright, about uh, seven rolls later or so, I've got three finds, um, another 57 Denver, and then two 41s. Um, out of Philly, and then I also got this really nasty um, 46. It had like a big chunk of green stuff on it. I don't even know what that is, but uh, I cleaned most of it off. And I also got a Canadian nickel from 2006, a fairly new one, but still foreign, so I'm gonna keep it. And yeah, that's um, the box is still doing pretty good. Uh, I might need to get some Nick and 8 for this buffalo because I do want to know the year. It looks like an old one. But other than that, I will bring you guys in on the next um, few coins or so. Oh my god, guys. Um, So we have about 11 rolls left. And I literally just... I'm just in shock right now. I just... Let me try to get the lighting better. Opened this roll and the fourth coin in is another buffalo. Another dateless buffalo. Jeez. This is my third one ever. And yeah, it's very worn. I don't know if it would get a date. I'll definitely have to use Nicodate on it. But still, I mean, that's just, that's just crazy. I've, I've only ever found one of these, and this box is just proving to be, it's just proving to have a lot of them. And this, this looks like an old one, too. Um, I'm definitely going to have to order some Nicodate, though. So, I guess I'll put this with the other one on this lamp right here. And uh, while I'm at it, I'll show you these other three coins that I found. I got a 59 from Denver, a 46 from Philly, and a 52 from Denver. So, yeah, but, I mean, that's just, that's crazy that I'm finding these. These look like some really old buffaloes. I'll definitely have to make another video sometime where I uh, nicodate all of these buffaloes I'm finding, but... Alright guys, I'll bring you in um, on the next find. Alright, um, we're all done. So, I'm going to just show you the four coins I got in those last few rolls, and then I'll do a wrap-up. So, I got a 58 um, Denver, a 54 Denver, another 58 Denver, and uh, 1940 from Philadelphia. So I'm going to kind of organize the coins now and give you all a wrap up of what I found. All right, so here's the wrap up. Um, I'm going to start from oldest to newest, starting with, of course, our two buffaloes. I'm very happy with this. Um, I did not expect these at all. I'm definitely going to make a video sometime where I figure out the dates on those and stuff. So, yeah. And then... Uh, starting from the oldest, Jefferson Nichols, we have 39, 140, 441s, 242s, 246s, 252s, 253s, 254s, 255s, 257s, and then 258s, and uh, 59. So, oh, and then um, two Canadians. We got two of a lot of things. We have, like, two of everything. But... Um, the Canadians are 1998 and 2006. So, um, I think it was a great first nickel box um, on the channel. I'll definitely be making more videos soon. I think I might make um, a dime video either tonight or tomorrow. So, be sure to watch that. And also, make sure to watch some of my previous videos. Um, I've made a penny video, a penny box video, and... A half dollar video and I'll definitely be making a bunch more coming soon so stay tuned all right guys 
I will see you next time. Peace.